Hi, welcome to the Prosperity Alchemist channel. I am David Wong, and we're going to show you how to gain prosperity in your life, how to generate and build and grow the life force in your body and your mind in order to gain health and success and prosperity. So stay tuned, and we're going to show you my prosperity pyramid and how you can use it to do just that. So here we have my prosperity pyramid. At the bottom, we have life force. We talked about life force. Now, in this video, I want to talk specifically how to get from life force up to level two, up to level three. So level one is life force, okay? And we shared with you already things that you can do to generate more life force, even some technologies that you can use that will automatically help you generate life force. Next is once you have life force, you're going to start to improve your health and transform your health from the inside and outside. Here's the yin yang symbol. And then on one side, we have your body, and on one side, we have your mind. So with a good life force, you will automatically start to create this engine. Now, like I said before, here we have the fuel, and then we have the engine. So the engine won't work unless you have good fuel. Now, if you want to gain success, which is level three, success is like a vehicle. It's like a car that gets you somewhere. These are also success skills. This is the vehicle. And by the way, success skills is the vehicle and success itself is the direction. Okay? So we never achieve success completely. It's always a direction. So how do you get from level one to two to three? Well, we talked about life force and generating enough life force so you have a healthy body and mind just naturally. Because with the life force, this will happen naturally. You have a balanced mind, body, and spirit you have the connection that you need in order to have a good engine. Now, what's the good use of an engine when it doesn't go anywhere? Well, it's just an engine that just runs, and that's it. You're gonna to need to have some kind, to, some kind of vehicle in order to create movement and a, uh, and a delta, right? So, how do you convert your engine into success, into success skills? Well, that comes from building momentum, like I said in the last video. It comes from being able to start moving. So later, we're going to show you what the success diamond is and how to get those success skills. There's five main parts that you need. There's five points on the diamond. But the key is this part here. Many people get stuck at this point. They have their mind and body, but they never get up to the success part. And the reason for that is they cannot convert the engine into a vehicle. An engine is just something that can run. It can convert this into some kind of energy, kinetic energy. But unless you have a direction, unless you have a vehicle, you're still gonna, not going to go anywhere with just an engine. So what is the secret? What is the thing that you need? Well, the secret is that you need to be able to have momentum, have, be able to have a direction. And that comes from taking the first step. They say that the journey of a thousand miles or 10,000 miles begins with a single step. And many people, they get up to here, but they get stuck because they don't take a step. They don't take any risks. They don't take any action. So without any steps, without any movement, you can never gain momentum. So last time we talked about things that can destroy your momentum and things that can gain momentum. Okay? But still, knowing those things is good and creating those positive energies like dreams and creativity and focus, all those things are great. But still, you still have to take the step. You still have to take action. And many people talk too much. They talk about the lack of energy. They talk about the negative, how to get over your fears, how to get over depression and anxiety. And that's all good. Nothing wrong with that. You need to know those things. But then all they do is just that, just talk. Nothing's going to happen until you take action. Nothing's going to happen until you convert this energy, this engine, into a vehicle and actually go somewhere. That's why I'm making this video. Is what's so important is action. Okay? So what action can you take? Well, you're watching this video right now, so good job. You're doing something. You're watching. It's passive action, but you're still taking action. You're, you're still here. You're still watching it. You're still learning, and you're still um, doing something. Maybe you are subscribing to this channel. Maybe you are going to think about this later. That's action, but it's passive. What you need to do is start taking 
active action. Okay, sure, you can start with passive action, right? You can start passive, which is learning, studying, you know, planning, all those things are good. But then a lot of people plan for days and for weeks and for years, but nothing happens, right? A lot of people, they think and they dream and then they get inspiration for years and years, but then nothing happens. A lot of people, they're positive, they speak positive words, they have positive affirmations, those are good, but still nothing happens. It's because they don't take active action. They don't actually do something that's gonna make a difference. Okay, so what are some things, think for yourself right now, what are some things you can do? Okay, what can you do to bring you the success that you want? And for many people, I think the problem also is that they don't want to take action is because they don't know what to do. You probably are confused. You probably are asking, what do I do to get to the success, success level? And that's true. A lot of people don't want to take action because they just don't know what to do. Okay, there are certain steps you can do. First of all, you can figure out what do you like to do? Number one, what do you like to do? What are some of your passions? What drives you? What gives you energy when you do it? Okay. Once again, we go back to energy. Okay, think about all those things. Make a list. Okay, list out some things. Okay, so that's number one. Number two, what are you good at? Now, think about what you're good at. For example, are you good at sports, math? Are you good at speaking, music? I don't know. Think about what things you're good at and make a list of that. Now, also, instead of just thinking of what you're good at in terms of uh, specific things, you want to think about what you're good at in general, concepts. For example, if you're good at music, what does that mean? That means you're good with sound, okay? If you're good at math, what does that mean? That means you may be analytical or you may be logical, okay? If you're good at art, then what does that mean? That means that you are creative. That means you have a um, very active mind's eye. You can visualize things. If you're good at, let's say, sports, what does that mean? It means that you are coordinated. Because if you train and you're good at it, maybe you're disciplined, even if you don't know about it. Okay, so start writing up qualities of yourself. Okay, so instead of just things you, things you're good at, start thinking about qualities. So these are qualities. So we have you know what you like, you know what, and you make a list of things that you like, that you have passion about, that give you energy. Then you make a list of things that you're good at, specific things that you, like, that you do. So these are things you do. And then number three is you make, start writing down qualities about yourself that come from things that you are good at. Okay, so that's the first step. And then later on, let me show you how you can start thinking about things and you can do so you can start connecting you ask yourself the question based on number one to three what kind of things can i do to create success okay so make a list what things can you do can you, to make success so make another list of ideas okay so a list of things would be um activities they can do okay groups that you can join and also communities as the same as groups and you can also think about maybe some jobs that are um, that will use all those things. Jobs, what else is there? There is um, business ideas and opportunities that you can explore that go in line with those things that you discovered in number one, two, three, okay? And then what's the next step? Once you make a list, the next step is take action. Take action, okay? So if, there are, if you make a list of activities, now you choose one to two things from the list here that you made and do that. Go and do that activity. Go and join that group. Go and apply for that job. Or go and go to that business meeting and learn more about that business. Go and research about that business opportunity. So number five is to take action. Okay, so you don't know what to do. Hopefully those are some steps that will, uh, five steps here that will help you to learn and discover what to do eventually do something that is in line with what you like, have a passion for, that you're good at, that uh, aligns with your positive qualities of yourself, and it's something that is available for you to do. If you can't find any activities, any groups or jobs or businesses 
maybe then you can create it on your own. Maybe you can create something out of nothing, like I do here on the YouTube, and like you can do on YouTube too, or on Facebook, or create your own group, create your own activity. That's what I did because when I started my martial arts studio, Combat of Wing Chun, I wanted to do something I loved, and I wanted to do something that was good at it, and I had the qualities to make it successful. And um, but there weren't any schools, and there weren't any activities or even uh, people that were doing that. So what I do? First, I did the activity myself. I trained myself. I went to different places to learn martial arts, and then I started my own group of friends to learn martial arts. And eventually, I started my own school to teach martial arts. And that's how I did it. I went through this process. Maybe you can find out for yourself how you can do something that's in line with all those things for yourself. Your passions, what you like, what you're good at, and also to really know your qualities, right? Because these are your strengths. These are your qualities, and these are your strengths. Find out what your strengths are. One of my mentors told me that if you work on your weaknesses in your life, at the end you just have a whole bunch of mediocre weaknesses. But if you work on your strengths, then at the end of your life, you'll have a very powerful strength that will set you apart from everybody else. So think about what your strengths are. So that's the end of today's lesson. I hope you enjoyed it. So today, as a recap, we talk about how to get from level two to level three, how to take action to convert your life force, your mind and body health into success skills. And the key is to take action. But the problem is that a lot of us don't know what to do. Don't know what action to take, so we go went into five steps of questions you can ask yourself in order to find out how to take action and what to do next. So I hope you enjoyed this lesson. Make sure that you uh, come to my upcoming webinar, and we'll show you some technologies that you can use to speed up this process even faster and to do it automatically, even the lazy way of doing it. So. Subscribe and comment and like on this video and click the notification bell to get all the new and greatest lessons that are coming out. And we'll see you soon in the next lesson.